The BBC has admitted more than £100,000 worth of electronic devices were stolen in the last three years in a humiliating blow for the corporation. Dozens of laptops, phones and camera equipment have been stolen from the BBC since January 2018, with the total totalling more than £100,000. Now, I have never pretended that the BBC respects your money if you're a licence fee payer. They have zero respect for your money. Never have had, never will have. You can tell that by the crazy salaries they give Lineker. You know, and the crazy salaries they pay a lot of their other talent. Lineker's just a poster boy for it. But he is a ridiculous salary that he gets. And that proves that they have no respect for your money. The other proof that they have no respect for your money is the fact that BBC Studios is a separate entity to the BBC and nothing to do with the licence fee and they sell the shows that you paid for with your licence fee all around the world for profit. For profit. They also give those shows over to the UK TV network. That's why Dave was flooded with only Fools and Hall season, Red Dwarf and Top Gear. Those shows were long since paid for by your television licence fees and yet they're being shown on a commercial channel making money through commercials. They don't care about your money. They have no respect for you or your money. And this story just adds fuel to that fire, doesn't it? Mr Jones said, the TV licensing blog also asked the BBC to provide information about the number and value of electronic devices lost over the last three years. But astonishingly, the corporation was unable to do so because it does not maintain a central record of those items. How do they not maintain a central record for those items? I work for a really big company. And everything I have for that company, so a phone, a laptop, printers, whatever they give me, has a sticker on it with an asset number. And all the assets are held in a database. And if they're not returned at the end of use to be removed from the database, they know where it's gone away. So the BBC know, they just don't want to say. A company that size will know. They will have people that deal with the assets. So they're just trying to cover up because a lot's been lost and a lot of money's been wasted and they just don't want that in the papers, do they? A BBC spokesperson said, the BBC takes any incidents of theft very seriously. Well, then tell us the story of how in 2020, when most BBC employees spent their time working from home, 16 phones, six laptops and four pieces of camera equipment was reported stolen. So that stuff was with your BBC employees, okay, which were working from home because they had to be at home. So the equipment was at home so unless everybody got broken into, which is very unlikely during that time, how was it reported on? Was it stolen by the employees? If so, there should be internal procedures and we should be able to hear the stories of that because you're a publicly funded company. How was it stolen if they're working from home? 